Hello guys, it's Catalyst here, and welcome back to Vaults. Um, now, last episode I think we just did a bit of work on the electricity and getting the generators up and running. Um, now, I've carried on building a few more of these, and um, yeah, so we've set them up now, so we should have enough power to be able to run these easily, hopefully. Um, I think we should have enough anyway. Um, so yes, this episode, what I wanted to do was I wanted to have a quick look into the airships mod that's in this pack. Um, oh yeah, also, another thing I need to show you, over here I've been working on, uh, building a little building over here, uh, just to use as maybe a main HQ, because I don't want to actually live in the village, I want to have a HQ which I can use instead, um, so yeah, I've just made this, I mean it's not exactly the biggest or most impressive HQ ever, but it, it's not bad, it'll do for now, so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to move all my stuff there, but anyway, as I said, um, I'm going to be working on the airships today, um, now, I noticed someone was um, doing something over there on the server, so I thought I might use an airship as a bit of a scouting um, thing. So anyway, I think what we're going to need for the airship is, um, I've had a look into this, and what we need is we need a, oh great, it's raining. Um, yeah, what we're going to need is we're going to need a um, airship marker, um, or is it a ship marker? Ship, there it is, ship marker which we get a piece of iron, four sticks and wood for. We've got plenty of wood. Um, so, like so. Uh, oh, another thing is, I've been um, using that enrichment chamber to uh, be, well, to enriching, is that the right word? Enriching all our ores. Um, so, um, what I've been doing is I've just, yeah, got them all and then smelted them, so we've got absolutely tons and tons of resources. So, um, yeah, let's just get that iron for that thing. Um, okay. So it's actually quite simple to build the airships. Those villagers are starting to get really annoying with the, um, what, with them opening and closing the doors. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn my volume down a tiny bit. It's on really low at the moment, but just make it a bit lower because the rain can be a bit distracting. Oh, I also found a zombie head as well, which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, I've, I've found a lot of things whilst preparing and building. Um, so I've done quite a lot. Um, is it nearly night time anyway? It's quite hard to tell when it's dark. Um, yeah, it is. Let's just go to sleep as well. Yeah. Hello. Um, so what was it? Ship marker. We've got the ship marker now. Now, if we want our, um, well, our airship to fly, uh, I think what we need is, I think it's air balloon or something. Air balloon. There we go. Uh, and we're going to need loads of these as well. Oh, damn it, I'm not sure how much string we have. Oh, we have 25, that's good. Uh, and we've got plenty of wool. Now, I'm not sure how many of these we uh, will need, so I'll just get quite a few at the moment. Oh, God, those villagers with the doors are doing my head in. Um, right, how much wool? So, seven. I'm not sure that's going to be enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out with these shears and just try and find some more sheep. Um, right, there's plenty of cows around. But not too many sheep, which is why I think it probably be a good idea to um, breed them. Because they their wool is also helpful for insulation as well, which is going to be handy. Oh, there's, there's a couple over here. And another couple there. So we should have plenty of wool. Um, now, I think it's, depending on the size of your airship, um, I think that's the more air balloons you need. Um, so say I wanted to have a massive airship, of course it's going to need more air balloons to keep it up in the air. But if I'm just going to have a tiny ship, I won't need too many. So what I'm going to try and go for is maybe, maybe a medium, or maybe just, maybe just a small scouting one to start off with. And it shall be called the, the Falcon. That's a good name for an airship. Always name aircraft after birds, that's always a good idea. Um, right, 11 more here. Spill some more. Okay, perfect. Uh, 18 should do. Now, actually, I'm going to start building it here on this big flat area. Okay, now, I think what we need to do... Now, I've had a quick look into this, but I'm not exactly fully sure. But we're just going to build it out of wood for now. And I think this is all we need to do. We build a shape out of the wood that we want to use. And, um... We just build it like so. And I'm not... Mm, I'm not too bothered about aesthetically pleasing at the moment. But, um, let's try and keep it a little bit decent. I'm actually going to build a crafting table as well. Because if you want to have sharp corners, um, you can use stairs, but, um, because you can't just have it, like, a block above. So you can't just have it, like, that's what I'll show you here. So you can't just have it like that and then take out that block. Those two blocks won't connect. So you need something in the middle, which is why I'm going to build some stairs quickly. Um, 
Mm, maybe four more. There we go. I think that should do it. Twelve, perfect. Uh, like so. Yep, this should do. And uh, keep that in my inventory. Um, yes, yeah, so I've also got a new mic, which I mentioned in a couple of my other videos as well. So um, hopefully better quality recording. But if you hear something too loud, like my mouse or my keyboard, um, which may be a problem, uh, comment if I haven't noticed this, noticed it during editing. But if I have noticed it, I will try and sort it out how I can. Um, let's just crap turn this all into wood, actually. So I'll try and sort it out if I can. But um, as far as I um, know, it shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Uh, we're going to need more of this. Uh, let's just go out and make loads. We, we we need tons of this stuff, actually. So let's just... That's not exactly even. Let's go nine, shall we? And then we'll still have a stack to build the rest of the ship. Let's just go ten, actually. There we go. Perfect. Now that should give us 40. Good. Right. Oh, dear. Um, so, yes. I've also been... Um, you may have noticed that massive forest behind. I've also been doing a lot of stuff trying to get wood. Um, a reliable source of wood from close by um because i couldn't be asked to keep going all the way over there it just take ages oh this one's a bit skew with there we go yes i couldn't be asked to go all the way over there and just collect it from there so i decided to start making it closer to home now i think this should be big enough let's just put these bits at the side just to kind of finish it off like this um yeah i think this is looking all right actually and the same on this side I mean, I'm not, as I said before, I'm not too bothered about it being aesthetically pleasing. I just want it to work. Um, now, of course, I still need to... Ah, oh dear. Hmm. There's no central block. You know what I'm going to do? You guys are going to hate me for this, but I'm going to make it one block wider and just... Just because I like things to have central. I can make it one block thinner, but that would... Yeah, let's do that instead, right? So, I want it... Yeah, just cut this bit down. Cut this bit down. Right. So, um, yeah, it's just because I need it to be central, I think, would probably be best. Because then we can put the um, ship thing, uh, the ship block, I can't remember what it's called now. And we can put it in the right place, so it'll look good. It's going to be a very thin ship, actually. Um, three blocks, it should be okay, actually. Um, so, we're calling it the Falcon, aren't we? Um, I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. There. And then, just like this. Okay. And then we're going to need to put... I was thinking we could either have a balloon, like, above this, uh, made out of this stuff, or we could just kind of shove it in the bottom. But I think a balloon would look better, so let's go with that. Uh, now we're going to need some sticks um, for fences, I think. So I need to keep some wood just in case, but that'll do. Oh God, I can't believe how quick I've used 40 wood. Um, it's crazy. Um, right, 8. Uh, ooh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough. This should be fine, actually. Ten. Right. So let's just go. Boing. Oh, I need to jump onto there. Actually, wait. Let's put it from the back. Let's make it look good. Now, I've got this thing where usually I don't mind about aesthetic looks, really. But I, I kind of want this to look good. It's my first airship. I shouldn't be using this, actually. Um, let's just make a line along here. And... Um, like this. You can use this as kind of a roof sort of thing. Um, like that. Can't make sure I get it all. Um, and yes. Back a bit there. And hmm. Should we, how are we going to do this? Because I kind of want this bit to be clear so you can actually build. So maybe one like this and then it goes up to the side and then we build it on the side over here. Could look. This could look alright, actually. Yeah, that... Oh, really? Really one fence block? Alright, I'm gonna gonna build some more. Because I don't want it to look uneven. That'd be bad. Um, And there we go. Two more. There we go. And there we go. Right. So it's not looking... It's not looking the best ship ever. But it's not looking completely awful. Um, There we go. The Falcon doesn't really fit the name. Uh, but oh well. Uh, so let's jump on this thing and let's see how we work it. Now, the controls, as I remember, were a bit spazzy when I tried them out last time. But I think what you wrote... Ooh. So we can move this using WSD. So how do we get up and down? Hmm. Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to try and work this out. 
Okay guys, um, now I've just about worked out how the airship mod works. I was a bit confused at the start, but um, basically I think you need to have almost, I think, more of the air balloons, or I think it's maybe, maybe it's not more, maybe it's 40% air balloon um, per your airship. So I've just, what I've done is I've taken quite a lot of the wooden blocks out, and now if you look, we can actually go up. Oh, look at this. Um, so yeah, we can actually fly this thing along. I mean, it's not looking particularly aesthetically good, but it's not bad. And it, and it's just going nightfall now. We've got the sun setting. And, um, what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, just head over the mountain and see where that guy was hanging around. Um, all right. I think someone's messaging me on Steam. Um, yeah. But, um, anyway, so... Actually, I see torches over there. Uh, let's have a quick look. Um, oh, we're being shot at. But can we be shot in this thing? That's what I'm wondering, actually. Okay, let's just stop this. How do we break? Okay, there we go. Right, break. Okay, good. I think we've stopped now. Uh, so there's torches in that mountain. Could he be... Actually, what's that down there? Um, actually, there's... All Oh, God, mouse buzzing. It looks like there is a building down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and explore. Now, I think we have a rule on this, though, but we're not going to steal from each other. So I'm definitely not going to do that. But there's no harm in having a look around the space. Now, what I don't want to do is actually park on the wooden floor because that's going to make it so I can't um, fly off. But similarly, I don't want to make it so that I can't get back on again. So what I think I'm going to do is I will just park it in the water. Um, how, I think I can do this, um, right, let's go for, go for a, a neat landing here, can, what happens if you, sh okay, there we go, so it actually bounces on the water, that's quite nice, okay, let's head in, let's head in, um, so, yeah, as I said, I'm not going to steal anything, I'm just going to have a quick look around and see what he's up to, um, now, I don't think we've made any enemies on the server, well, I definitely haven't, I don't think anyone else is at war, this is a really nice base, actually. I like the way it goes into the mountain. Got a bit on here. Under construction, hard hats needed. Well, I've got a zombie head. That should do. Oh, what is this? Oh, my God. Look at this stuff. Uh, I don't want to mess anything up, but... Okay, chemical decomposer, a microscope. Oh, God. This is awesome. Um, uh, I, let's have a look. So... Silicon dioxide. Oh my god, this guy is going really chemistry. I think that's actually in the mine chem bit. Um, yeah, in the mine chemistry mod. It's quite a cool little mod. I, I don't have a clue what I'm doing in it, but um, I probably shouldn't be rooting for his stuff. But um, yeah, I don't have a clue what I'm doing with mine chem, but maybe that's something I should get to know. Oh god, I love the jacuzzi. It's, it's a very nice jacuzzi. Look at this. Put my axe away. Just, just relax. God, that zombie mask is scary. Um, very Halloween-y, um, funnily enough. Um, right, so... Oh, God, there's a creeper in the water outside. But, yeah, this is a really cool base. Um, so I'm not sure if this guy's going to be an enemy. Or maybe maybe a friend. Maybe an ally. I don't have any weapons at all, actually. I came pretty unprepared. I guess I wasn't expecting a fight. Um, now, what I could do is I can just tower sort of up. Ooh, I think the creeper might have noticed me. Uh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Um, actually, I can use my axe as a sort of weapon. Actually, is this a bit of... It's a bit vandalism me. But what I'll do is I'll get my spade and I'll... But yeah, I really like that guy's base. It's really, really nice. So, I guess I should probably try and meet him as we... Um, let's fly up. Yeah, so I guess we should probably try and meet him. And yeah, see if he's a... See if he's an enemy, a friend or a foe. Um, oh, dear, I didn't mean to stop that. Um, that's one of the things that I love about the airship mod. It's just, you can just fly wherever you want. And then if you want to stop in midair and just walk around, it's you can do that. It's great. Um, let's just keep the mouse right. So we're going to head. We need to go up a little bit. But yeah, that's a really cool base. So now at least we've found out where that guy's base is. I take it he's probably already seen mine. Mine's a bit more obvious in the village. Um, his is a bit, it's, it's quite a nice base. It's quite got a lot of cover around it as well. So um yeah, well, that's really cool. So I guess we've found someone new today as well, which is quite a nice thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back um, to the village. And, um, yeah, maybe I can meet that guy. I need to find out who's at the house. I'll check around and ask people if it's theirs. But, um, 
Yeah, so I think I might end the episode here today, guys. Um, I know it's been a very short episode, but I just wanted to kind of investigate what was going on over there um, to see who it was. Well, I didn't get to see who it was, but just to, you know, see what was going on there. My God, is that spider jockey? Well, stop. I think there's a button. Is C to break? No, that's coordinates. Um, how do I break? Well, that's pretty much stop. So I'm going to stop here and just have a look over here. I think I saw a spider jockey. Yeah, spider jockey. Never. Anyway, yeah, so I think I'm probably going to end the episode here. I think, um, so we found out who that guy is. Well, we haven't, yeah, I keep saying we found out who he has, is, but we found his base over there. And now I think, well, our base is put a bit to shame. Um, I mean, apart from that, that's, that looks quite cool. So I think maybe next episode we'll work a bit more on the base, try and get it looking cool. Um, maybe work a bit more on the village. And yeah, and just try and get everything sorted. So, um, yeah, so um, remember to um, like and favourite this video, it really helps me out. And remember to comment if you want me to do anything or yeah, just anything. So as always guys, thanks for watching.